Uh, this one? Ah. Huh. No. Um, this, no. Um, this one? Mm, no, no. Um, huh? Teacher Davy, what are you doing? I'm I'm trying to find the switch for this slide, but I can't seem to find oh, it. Oh God! Okay, uh, I think you have to try again because this is uh, in a parallel circuit. Parallel circuit? Yes. Huh? What is that? Come back later. I will explain to you. <laughs> no, parallel circuit. TV KPM Good morning everyone! You are now watching Didate TV KPM together with me, Sean Stevens, as your host. Now before I begin, I would like to remind you to always follow the SOPs in place in our battle against COVID-19 to flatten the curve. Very important is for you to wear a face mask, yeah? Wash your hands as frequent as possible using both water and soap. Use hand sanitizers to ensure that your hands are always, 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 always clean. And when you're among other people, ensure that the distance between you you and that person is always at least one meter apart. And as you saw earlier, we have a wonderful teacher with us. We have teacher Davy from SK2, Taman Selayang Selangor. Good morning, teacher. Good morning, Sean. How are you feeling today? I'm great. That's Thank awesome. you. So everyone at home also is feeling great. But before we yeah. continue, could you kindly introduce yourself to those watching at home? Hi everyone, my name is Teacher Devi, daughter of Gondesami. I'm from SK2 Taman Selayang and I've been teaching for 22 years. For 22 years? Yes. That's about my age. But <laughs> before we continue, uh, could you also practice the SOP? We have a bottle of yeah, hand sanitizer sure, sure. here. Thank you. There we go. And of course, you can see, for those of you watching at home, the distance between me and my teacher is at uh, definitely more than one meter. Exactly. Both of us are wearing face masks and we are practice, uh, practicing the SOPs. Yes. Now, I know that uh, for a fact that it's not the both of us that's exploring today. We also have my friends who are with us online today. Let's see who they are. Good morning everyone hi hi there we go i can hear them oh there yeah. they are hi <laughs> okay so what i'm going to do is i'll be mentioning your names please introduce yourself yeah and if i'm not mistaken they are from five separate schools we're going to start off first with aisha hello hi this is Debbie and i'm one sean my name is Aisha Zahra Binti Usman. You can call me Aisha. I'm from SKK SK Sen N, Wilayah Persekut Tuan Labuan. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you too, Aisha. <laughs> yeah. Next, we have uh, Adam Harith. Hi, Teacher Devi. Uh, uh, hi, Abang Sean. Hi. My name is Mama Adam Harith bin Hairul Anwar. You can call me Adam. And I'm from Sekolah Rendah Setia Budi. Selangor. Nice to meet you. Thank you, Adam. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> Next, we have Adriana. Hi, Teacher Devi and Abang Sean. Greetings. My name is Adriana Afiatara. I am from Sekolah Kebangsaan Sungai Awut Sibu Sarawak. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Adriana. Next, we have uh, Hua Sun. Good morning. Hi, Teacher Devi. Hi, Abang Sean. My name is Chua Hashim. You can call me Chua. I'm from SK Sungai Sibu, Sarawak. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Nice to meet you, Chua. And uh, we also have Ronisha. Hi, Teacher Devi. Hi, Abang Sean. My name is Ronisha Reddy. You can call me Ronisha. I am from SK San Mary Wilaya Persekutuan Kuala Lumpur. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, it's a pleasure. And last but not least, we have Lakshan. Hi, Teacher Devi. Hi, Abang Sean. My name is Lakshan Ramalingam. You can call me Lakshan. I'm from Sekolah Kebangsaan Bukit Damansara, Kuala Lumpur. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you and of course, all of you. But before we continue, I have a very important question. Are you ready for our exploration? Give me a thumbs up if you are. 
There we go, double thumbs up. But oh, teacher, I forgot to ask. What are we exploring today? Yes, actually our students, mm -hmm. today they are going to learn about the sources of electricity. Yes. And they will learn about parallel and CD circuit. Okay. And they will sketch the parallel and CD circuit uh, using a symbol. Mm -hmm. And they will have a hands-on activity, how mm -hmm. to uh, put up, I mean hands-on activity, how to carry out the experiment with the parallel and CD circuit. Ah, okay. But yeah. I want to ask a question. Earlier during our, um, I was playing around with the light yes. switch over here. Yes. What does this have to do with what are we going to explore today? Exactly. We are going to learn mm -hmm. about parallel circuit later on. Okay. And then they will know why there are so many switch uh, yeah. with the uh, different, different lights here. Mm -hmm. As you, you are well finding which light goes to which switch, right? Yeah. So that's what we are going to learn. Why got different switch for the every each of the bulbs here. Wow. Okay. Sounds very very interesting indeed but before we continue with our exploration how about we take a short break and be back to you for Tunia TV KPN Dide TV KPN The electric rays have enlarged pectoral fins and battery-like electric organs on both sides of their heads to defend themselves and hunt the prey. These flattened cartilaginous fish can produce electric discharge ranging from 8 volts up to 220 volts depending on the species. <laughs> oh. You are now watching On Didate TV KPM together with me, Sean Steven and also Teacher Davy. For yes. our topic for today, it's on electricity. Exactly. All right, so let's begin our exploration. Yes, yeah, Sean. Okay, let us start uh, with our students here, our friends out there. Mm -hmm. Okay, we are going to learn about sources of electricity. Okay. Where our friends here, they will explain each of the sources of electricity. Ah, yes, right. that they have learned. Okay. And maybe they can help out our friends out there. All right. So what is the meaning of all these sources of electricity? Okay, all let right, us okay. start with our friends here mm -hmm. Aisha Aisha okay maybe Aisha can explain to us what is a solar cell Aisha yes teacher solar cell convert light energy from the Sun into electrical energy yeah solar cell mm -hmm. convert from light uh, from the sun yeah it transform to the electrical energy okay. for example i have here this is solar panel this solar panel okay when i i leave the solar panel under the sunlight yeah. i mean under the light also it won't work you notice or not the light is not working yeah if i close it's working so this is a solar Oh, okay. It charge you... during the daytime. Okay, so when yeah. it's dark, then it will show the light. Could yes. You... Yeah. Oh, so these are the lights that's being displayed here. Yes. So it's that's a... a solar panel. Yes. And when there's no there light, no no lights... no plug or uh, we didn't put any plug here. Okay. Okay. It just let's just hold like this. Yeah. We can have a oh. light. Oh. Okay. It already okay. charged. Yeah. It's charged when uh, before we use it, it's just charged. Okay. When it's dark, it automatically will light up. I see. So this is solar panel. Okay. So that's what she said just now. All right. Okay. Thank you, Aisha. Okay. Next, we go to the about dry cell. Okay. Dry, dry cell. cell. Okay. Uh, I need uh, Adam. Adam, could you please yes, explain teacher. to us what is a uh, uh, dry cell, Adam? Yes, teacher. Dry cells store chemical energy. The chemical energy is converted into electrical energy to move tools such as stoica. Yeah. Abang, abang Shah. It's calling you. Oh, Mike. sorry, I can't hear you. Can't hear you. Abang Sean and Tichi Devi, ah, yeah? can I show my to toy car that uses dry cell? Oh, yes, please. <laughs> I love toy cars. Ooh, oh, right. Wow. So that car uses dry cell, is it Adam? Yes, yes. Teacher. Yes, okay, wow. thank you Adam. 
So that is a dry cell. We can see uh, so, uh, the picture of the dry cell there. Just now we saw the this solar one? cell. Yeah. Yeah, that's a dry cell. Okay. Okay. So dry cell, we are usually common. It's common. People are using dry cell mm -hmm. uh, sometimes in the uh, uh, flashlight, yeah. even the remote control car, mm -hmm. like like Adam showed just now. Yeah. Okay. And then we go to the next sources of electricity, Sean. Yeah. All right. Okay. Now we go to Chua. Chua from uh, Cebu. Okay, Chua, could you please explain to us what is power plant, Chua? Yes, teacher Devi. Power plant use kinetic energy produced from wind, wave, and hydroelectric to move turbines and generate electricity. Yeah, thank you, Chua. Okay, this is the one. Mm -hmm. Okay, power plant, there are three. Yep. You can see hydroelectric. Okay. It's a, a windmill. Yep. And of course, with the wave, okay, and ah. then we can uh, generate electricity. Okay. Okay, this is the power plant. Thank you, uh, thank you, Chua. Okay, let us go to Ronisha. Ronisha, could you please explain to us what is dynamo, Ronisha? Yes, teacher, I can. This is how a dynamo looks like. Oh, dynamo, yeah. For an example, mm -hmm. when the wheels of a bicycle rotate, mm -hmm. this small wheel of the dynamo also rotates. Dynamo converts kinetic energy into electrical energy. This electrical energy can light up a bicycle light. Ah, okay, okay. So that's the use of dynamo to, yes. to, to uh, convert energy from from something that's spinning? It's um, uh, it, when you're spinning. Okay, can you try this? Okay, okay. so this, this is, is an example. example. I'll just come closer here. Yes. Yeah? I'll just move this, this is an example. to the back. This is okay. the uh, bicycle wheel. Yeah. When you spin, mm -hmm. there's a small wheel at the dynamo. Okay. It will spin. Okay, the so I'll just thing. show here. Just show, yeah. There's a dynamo over here. Yes. And this is a, the, the, the an example of the, the, the wheel of a bicycle. Wheel. Yes. So when I spin this, this way this, or this way? This way, correct. Oh, it lights wow. up! Energy! Electrical yes. energy! So it can supply electrical energy there. That's why the bulb at the bicycle will light up when you use dynamo. Okay. This is how it functions. All right. Okay. So that's how is dynamo. So thank you, Ranisha, for mm -hmm. your explanation. Okay, next, now we go to Lakshan. Lakshan, can you explain to us what is accumulator, Lakshan? Yes, Teacher Devi. Accumulator converts chemical energy into electrical energy. It is used to start up vehicles such as cars, trucks, and motorbikes. Yeah. Thank you, Rosh, uh, Lakshan. Yes, accumulator is common. Okay. okay. Accumulator, usually people say it's a battery. Yeah. Okay, our people always talk about battery, but mm -hmm. in a... I think where is it? Oh, that's the okay, one. Okay, it's here. Yeah. Okay, accumulator. Usually, uh, people say is be used in uh, vehicles. Yeah. Okay, such as what uh, Lakshan say in a motorbike, mm. even in a car, yeah. bus or lorries. Everything they will use accumulator. Okay. So people knows as a battery, yeah. car battery. Yeah. Right? Even I thought it was a car battery. <laughs> <laughs> that we call as accumulator. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So we go to the next and last, not the least, mm -hmm. uh, about generator. Okay. Uh, we I I would like to call. Andriana to explain to us what is generator. Yeah, sure. All so, right. Wow, nice. Hi, Andriana. Hi, Andriana. Could you please Hi. tell us what is a generator? Yes, teacher Debbie. Generator convert chemical energy from fossil fuels into electrical energy. People usually use generators at a night market to light up the light. Hmm. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, she said generator people use uh, usually at the night market. Yes, that's okay. right. Okay, can I ask any one of our friends that mm -hmm. out there, where else we use generator other than uh, night market? Anyone? Yes? Yes, Chua. Carnival. You say carnival. Carnival. Yeah, okay. in carnival we use generator to light up the bulbs at night yep. because they don't have a power station there or anything, so they just generator. Ah, okay. okay. Other than carnival, where else we can find generator? People use generator. Yes, Lakshan. Fish pond. 
fish pond. Yes. The fish pond. Yes, fish pond. They use generator to okay. generate electric there. Ah, I yes. see. I think also there was someone who raised a hand. I think Aisha. Aisha. Aisha also raised a hand. Would you like to answer as well? Yes, Aisha. Oh no, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so anyway, thank you for everyone for explaining what is uh, what are the sources of electricity yeah. that uh, they have learned mm -hmm. uh, in your year 5 topic. Okay. And then uh, I think uh, we can uh, Ask the students mm -hmm. uh, what are the next topic is. Yep. We are going to learn about uh, mm -hmm. power and series circuit. Okay. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here, students have to know about uh, symbol of the power and series circuit. Okay. Even the component, each component got the symbol. Okay. All right. So they have to know about that. Okay. And then, we, could you? Uh, we can ask them. Maybe we can ask anyone. Of our friends here, maybe uh, we can ask um, uh, Aisha. Aisha, are there? Hi, Aisha. Yes, teacher. Aisha, mm -hmm. uh, you know what's the symbol of, uh, I'm showing here? Symbol of what? Yes, teacher. What is it that? It is a dry cell symbol. It's a dry cell symbol. Yeah. Is that correct? Uh, based on my knowledge, yes, it is. <laughs> is that correct, teacher? <laughs> How many dry cells are there? Only one teacher. Yes, you are correct. Well Only done. One. Well done, Aisha. Okay, okay, so I think that's a very, very, uh, what's it called? This is a very, very important symbol to learn because we're going to uh, explore of this regarding the, uh, what we call the series, series, and parallel. series and parallel circuits. But yeah. before we continue, we're going to take a short break and we're back to you on the TV KPM. Yeah. TV KPM The electric eel gets its name from its shocking abilities. Special organs in its body release powerful electric charges of up to 650 volts, which is great for self defense and stunning praise. And we are back on Direct TV KPM together with me, Sean Steven, and also Teacher Davy. All right, let's continue our exploration. Yes. Oh, thank you, Sean. Actually, after this, we are going to explore everything. Okay. Okay. As you see in front of you, yes, there are two circuits I put here. Oh wow! Okay, yeah. I just noticed it. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay. okay. All right. These two circuits, mm -hmm. I want you to uh, identify what is the difference you can see. Compare that to. Okay. So maybe you can turn here, there. All right. All right. What so is here. The, what are the differences you can find? I noticed that the way this is arranged, there are three light bulbs arranged like this, like one on top of the other, but mm -hmm. you can see how the wires go is different mm -hmm. as compared to this one mm -hmm. where everything is just connected into like one uh, complete circuit in a way. Oh, yeah. okay. Like wow, you're yeah, genius. Am I right? Well oh, okay. <laughs> just an okay. observation. Yeah. Oh, just observation. But mm -hmm. now it's a very tough. Uh, I'm a tough question for you. Okay. Okay. Can you name mm -hmm. which one is series? Okay. And which one is parallel? Oh, okay. Okay. Should I answer or should I ask my friends to answer? Uh, Would you, you can like try, me to try first. Okay. okay. So, um, parallel, if I'm not mistaken, is something that is. Parallel. <laughs> I'm not sure how to explain, it, but um, like in the same same kind of direction as the other. So I would say this could be parallel. You can ask okay. our friends there whether it's correct or not. Okay. Uh, who can uh, help me if if this is correct? Is this parallel? Is this circuit parallel? Chua. A parallel circuit. Chua is. Who is it? Chua. Yes, Chua. Please save me. Is this correct? Yes, it is. Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> So of course the other one is series. Ah, Thank okay. you. Okay, now, so just now mm -hmm. before we end up just now, yeah. I asked um, the parents. Uh, I asked of the symbol just yeah. now with the Aisha. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we want to ask our friends here. Okay. Okay. What is the symbol of this? 
Okay, you maybe you can okay, hold can this. Okay, can I hold it? Thank you. Yeah. So Appreciate don't this. show them. Okay, maybe we can ask uh, uh, who is that? Uh? Adam. Adam, are you there? Yes, teacher. Yeah. What symbol is this, Adam? Uh, it is uh, like a bob symbol. It's a bob symbol. Okay. Is that correct? Okay, let us check the picture next to the component. Ta -da! Yeah! Well done, Adam. It's yes! A bob. Okay. Bob. okay. Yes. Okay, next, we go to the next symbol. Okay, come on. Okay. We just close that. Oh, that, that okay. We cannot show them. Cannot show them the answer. Cannot show them. Okay, they got it. Okay. <laughs> okay, maybe. Yeah, you hold okay, this. Thank you. Okay, now oh. we go to. What is this? Andriana. Andriana? Yes, yes, what symbol is this, Andriana? It, it's wire. It's wire. Wire? Just a line. Just you know? a line? Okay, yeah. let's see whether the answer is correct. Correct or not? Yes! Yeah, alright. The component well done. is wire. Thank you, Andriana. Thank okay, you. Okay, now we go to. Haha, uh -huh, we have something here. Okay. Ah. ah. Okay. All right. We want to ask Ronisha. Ronisha, can you tell us what symbol is this, Ronisha? Yes, teacher. It is an open switch. It an is an open, open switch. switch. Okay. Let's see whether your answer is correct. Yes. Well done. Well done, uh, Ronisha. It's open switch. But she has another question. Okay. Ah, she has to answer this too. Oh, she got two ah, questions. Two to questions answer. for her. All right. Because since she's talk about switch, right? Ah. She has to tell me. Okay. What symbol is this, uh, Ronisha? It is a closed switch, teacher. It's a closed, closed switch. switch. Oh, All right. Well correct. done. You can show that. Yes. Yeah. Very good, Ronisha. Yeah. So these are the symbols yeah. they have learned and now mm -hmm. we have a task for them. Okay. Alright, so you can take out your whiteboard. The students at home also, mm -hmm. they can do that. Even Sean also will draw. Okay. Okay. So I have a white piece of paper. It's a whiteboard. Oh, it's a whiteboard? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so what we have to do is, you have to draw. Alright. Okay, the students out there also, you have to draw mm -hmm. the symbol of Siri circuit. Okay, Siri yeah. is this one, right? Yeah. So the symbol of Siri circuit. Okay, can you do that? Draw the symbol of Siri circuit. Okay, can we try this? Oh, All it's right. lit. Okay. Maybe you can close the switch. All of them? For the parallel. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Wait, this one doing. Leave it. Okay. All right. It's just a task for them. Okay, right. Okay. All right. Okay, come on. I think uh, they can see the light, is it? Yes, but I think now we are looking at the uh, series. The series. Okay, now let us start draw series circuit. Okay. Okay. So use, I know the bulb has like a use, circle. You have oh, to use Oh, my ruler. ruler. Okay. Yep. Thank you, teacher. Welcome. So I have. Uh, I know there's three bulbs up there, so I'm going to start yep. with the three bulbs. One, two. Three and the symbol for bulb is it has there. a circle and a cross. Okay. I think this sure. is correct, right? Are you sure? I think this is just a bulb. Is that correct? CD circuit. Okay, I haven't connected them yet, but I'm just doing the bulb. <laughs> I wanna show everyone okay. this. And then we have two dry cells. Positive is on that side. Okay, positive is here. Okay. <laughs> so the positive symbol for dry cell is the longer one. Um, yes, it is. Okay, so I have two. So I'll try to connect them here. One, two. We also have a closed switch. Which... They're also drawing, right? Yes. Okay. So I'm just going to try and connect this and see if um yeah okay so here all right i think i i think i have it and i'm just going to show oh i forgot to use a ruler mm. but i'll just show mine i hope it's correct so the x How means a that? symbol not x-men <laughs> yeah um and then we have the oh i think i got my I, I, I might I think I might have a mistake on mine. But I wonder if they are able to see the mistake. Yeah, or yeah, not. that's why I wanna see that. Alright, okay. mine is all done. Wonderful. 
Okay, wait, but I shouldn't show her. If not, Miss, they will you copy my answer. You cannot show them. Oh, I'm not supposed to show them. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. All right. All right, let's see whether they have completed their series circuit, yes. right? Can you show it to the camera for us? Can you show? Oh. Okay, Ranisha, can you leave a bit? Oh, right. Okay. Okay. Then we have Aisha Dan, Adriana, Adriana. Uh, Lakshan Dan, uh, Adam Dan, Chua. Chua is still drawing. Uh, Chua is drawing. Okay, so we can see the mistake there. Andriana's. Uh, Andriana, please leave your paper up. Yes, thank you. Just hold, never mind. Okay, Chua, hurry up. <laughs> okay, that's okay. So we can see. You also yes. can show. Oh, okay, I can show mine Shana, now. Yeah, let uh, us show. Again? All right, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I was correct answer. Yeah. This Yay. is the correct. Okay, so I can see the mistake there. Okay, there is What's one the mistake. mistake there. Uh, okay, Andrea. Andriana, she put open switch. It is open switch when it's open like this. Ah, ah suppose see. close switch, right, Andrena? Correct? Okay, never mind. At least uh, the students know what's the mistake they have done. Okay. okay this is a close switch yeah. because it's already closed. The bulb was light up. The light up. Okay, light up. Yeah. right. And what is this? This is the symbol of a dry cell. There are yeah. two dry cells, mm -hmm. so we draw two. I think I did symbols. a mistake for mine as well because the position of my dry cells is uh -huh. the opposite as what's been yeah. shown here. That's okay, that's okay. That's okay? That's okay. okay. Never mind. So, so thank you everyone. Ah yeah, Chua also done. Thank you Chua, well done. Great job everyone. Wow, good. Okay. All right. So Next. this is for series. Yeah, parallel. We are going to draw parallel. Parallel. Okay, so we're going to try and draw this one. Yes. We are okay. going to draw parallel circuit. All right. So everyone ready? Okay, let us start. Parallel circuit. So maybe I uh, can zoom to the picture because they can't see, is it? Okay. Uh, the parallel circuit here. Alright, so we got three bulbs. I should use my ruler as well. <laughs> okay, wait, how do I... Do I... Yeah, okay, this way. Okay, not sure if the camera can see me drawing, but I'll try. So we have one... Maybe can draw. Oh no. <laughs> Two and three. All right, and then we have this one over here. The positive is <laughs> shorter, I guess. Okay, I'm just gonna try our teacher. Yeah. Okay, and then we got switches, and here as well. Okay, now I'm. This time I'm gonna use my ruler. <laughs> my ruler. <laughs> Okay, here, and oh no, I think I messed up a bit. Never mind, as long as it's the correct drawing. Okay. Here, one, two, three, so this is, I think I smudged my paper a bit. <clears throat> and this is open. Okay, so I'm done. Let's see whether any of our friends are done as well. I think they're still doing. For those of you at home, you can also try and draw this. I have mine over here. If you're able to see, you can compare your answer with mine. But I don't think so. I'm supposed to show just yet. Huh? Mm -mm, don't show that. So, uh, excuse for my ugly drawing because I mm. kind of smudged uh, my drawing a bit. But just remember that we have three bulbs. We have three switches and two dry cells and don't forget the wires that's connecting each of it because i think for a circuit to to be complete it has to be a complete circuit everything yeah. has to connect yes to each other. everything but connected but okay one is circuit. all right all right so, so i think uh, time's up ding 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 ding, ding, ding. okay <laughs> let us show our our answer, answer. Ah, yes Ronisha, I can see answer. Good. Aisha, Adam value. I think Chua Andriana, and yes. Lakshan is still Chua. doing. Uh, Lakshan. Yes. 
All right. All right. Okay, we can see one mistake there. What is that? I think uh, Chua has something that is uh, yeah, he did he differently. Put, he put all open switch. I see. Yes, we have only one open switch here. Okay. So, but Chua drew all open. All open means should mm -hmm. be like this. Okay. Okay. So now, actually, our 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 symbol here. I think everyone correct except Chua. That's okay, Chua. So you must observe here. I want them to learn. Yeah. To observe. How the switch is? Okay. Is it open mm -hmm. or closed? Must observe very clearly. Ah. Yeah. All right. Yes. But well so, done, everyone. Give yourselves a round anyway, of applause. Anyway, yeah, very good. Well done. Well done. Okay, now we have a next task. Okay. So we are going to carry out the experiment. Whoops. We Gravity. To, yeah. <laughs> Gravity. Okay. We have to carry out the experiment. Okay. So we have. So, uh, I have a few items in here. I'm just going to yeah. place this all aside. Yeah. So they're able to see. Okay. So, okay, so I want the students mm -hmm. put the camera on your table. Let them show. I Take have, we have a few a two. bulbs here. I have some um, dried cells yeah. over here. Yes. And I have a lot of wires. Yeah. There are five. One, two, three, four, five wires yes. and one switch. So I have three bulbs or light bulbs, two dry cells mm. and one switch. Yes. Okay, so what do I do now? So now, mm -hmm. I want you to fix okay. in series circuit. Series, yeah, okay. I want the students out there, uh, they're also already showing their Materials, the components we oh, have. Oh, they also have it? Yes, okay, they great. also have, yeah. Alright. So, we are going to fix one bulb first. With the switch, one switch. Okay. With the battery, okay. two dry cells here. Okay. With one switch and one bulb. Okay, Come on, let's let go. us start. Okay. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Okay, I'm doing it as fast as I can. <laughs> yeah. One okay. bulb, yeah? Oh, wait, it's connected to here. Ah, okay. One bulb, yeah? Yeah. Okay, you have to connect both with one bulb. How do you connect them? Bulb. Uh, at the screw there? At the screw, okay. Yeah. okay. Oh, like that, okay. Hmm. Ah. That thing. I'm almost done, Teacher David. Oh, Are you done? my battery. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let me put this Is here. Done? And connect to the battery. Okay. Okay. Mine is it, not so bright. Okay. Yeah, oh no, look at that. It's big. Oh. Yeah. You're done. Well done. Okay, now. Hmm? Okay, good. So how about our friends out there? Yes. Yes. Wow, they I see managed Ronisha to fix everything. Good. Yes. Done that. So they can see the brightness. How what do you think? Uh, uh, is it very bright or not so bright. I think it's quite bright. Quite bright. Yeah, quite okay, bright, yeah. yes. Now we fix with another bulb. With another bulb? Yes. Also in series? Yes, series. Okay. So here, I'm just going to remove Why this. Connect to another bulb. Alright. Ooh. Oh. I think my battery is. I think this, connecting this is a bit. It takes yeah. some time, yeah? Okay, yes. so here and also here. Mine ah. is not working. Okay, at least yours is working, I can okay. see. Oops, I think something moved. Okay, yep. so yes. Yes, okay, so how about our friends there? Okay, I think uh, yeah, Lakshan they managed has done, to done. Uh, Aisha as well. I think everyone is done except for Andriana. Andriana, uh, she's, she's still doing trying. it. Yeah. Ronisha, they are super fast. Yes, exactly. Okay, well done. Okay. So, can you see the difference in the brightness? Yes, earlier the light bulb was really bright and yeah. now it's not so bright. Or the brightness has decreased. Yes, so shall we ask our students there? Okay. Okay, maybe we can ask anyone. Can you show? Uh, they also did well, I can see. Okay, who want to ask, answer me, what is the manipulator variable here? Okay, maybe you can put your camera up. What is manipulator variable here? Anyone? Yes, yes. Aisha. Aisha. 
The manipulated variable for the experiment is the number of bulbs. Number yeah. of bulbs. So that's what has changed. Yeah, yeah? that have changed. Okay. okay. Who want to tell me what is responding variable there? Ronisha. Yes. Yeah, I think, uh, yes. Yes, Anisha. The brightness of the bulb. The brightness of the bulb. That's yes. the, what they observe when they carry out the experiment. Mm -hmm. Okay, who want to tell me what is the conclusion of this experiment? Yes? Anyone? Aisha again. Yes, Aisha. As the number of bulbs increases, the brightness of the bulb decreases as the number of bulbs increases okay the brightness of the bulb decreases ah and right. just now uh, when we show when there are so many bulbs you see the difference yeah so it's when three bulbs somewhere is look uh, somewhere dimmer yeah even dim it's yeah. dim and then this one even when you put one bulb mm -hmm. it look brighter correct so that's the difference that's why i say as the number of bulbs increases mm -hmm. the brightness of the bulb will decreases, decreases. Yes. oh wow and this is uh, uh, quite applicable for uh, a series circuit yeah correct? exactly for the series circuit okay so for those of you who tried out just now well done give yourselves a round of applause Wonderful, wonderful job. And I think that's a very good observation that we have observed from a series circuit. Yes. But what about a parallel circuit? Okay. Which we now, will have over we here. We can ask our friends there. Mm -hmm. Who want to tell me what will happen when we fill, fix with the three bulbs? Okay, maybe you can close that. Yeah, I can close one uh, and two. I think that's good enough. Yes, three. How about three as three. well? Yeah, all three. You see? Ah. ah, okay. Who can tell me what you can see when you fix with the three bars in parallel circuit? Yeah? Chua? Lakshan? Anyone? Yes, Lakshan. Yes, Lakshan. The brightness of the bulb are the same. Yes, the brightness yeah. are the same. Oh, so that's okay. the difference. That's why when we use at home, mm -hmm. our home all wired in a parallel circuit. Yeah. Okay, why? When one in series yeah. is fused up, mm -hmm. the rest won't oh, light up. Okay, so if that's, let's say one bulb is not working, the other, other will just not work. work. So that's if let's say there's one bulb in my house that doesn't work, the whole entire house will be dark yeah. and that's why we use a parallel Paracircle. circuit. Yes! Wow! Yeah, well done! <laughs> okay, okay, that's okay. Good. That's an amazing discovery that I just found out yeah. today. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to go look around the studio and see whether I can play around with the lights <laughs> and see whether they're using a parallel circuit or a series circuit and I'll come back to you on the TV KPM. I think maybe this one. Yeah. <laughs> TV KPM The world's biggest light bulb is located in Edison, New Jersey. It is 14 feet tall, weighs around 8 tons, and sits on top of the Thomas Edison Memorial Tower. And we are back on Didit TV KPM together with me, Sean Steven, and also Teacher Davy for the topic of electrics. Yes. Yeah. So uh, just before we went on a break, we were talking about um, series, series circuit as parallel. well as parallel circuit. Yes, yeah, Sean. Sure. Yeah. yeah. So shall we continue? Yes, yeah, sure. Because uh, I need to ask our students out there. Yes. Okay. Why? Parallel circuit, mm -hmm. as, uh, as uh, Lakshan said, mm -hmm. the brightness are same. Yeah. And the series circuit we can see is dimmer. Yeah, right? correct. Okay. So why parallel circuit, uh, the brightness are same? I mean, uh, more brighter mm -hmm. compared to the series circuit. Okay. Okay. Who want to help me to explain this? Why in parallel circuit is more brighter compared to the series circuit? Okay. Anyone? Yes. Who want to answer that? Who was that? I think, uh, was it? Ad oh, we have Adam and Aisha. Who would you like to choose? Yeah, can anyone. Okay, who would like to uh, answer? Maybe we can ask Adam, yeah? Yeah, can Adam. Can try for Adam? Adam Harith? Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, it is because parallel circuit have, have one more than one path, but series circuit only have one path. 
Parallel circle has more than one pair. Okay. You can see there are three. Yeah. Okay. And CD circle got one pair only. Yeah, correct. Okay. So why that's the thing? Okay. Maybe we have uh, other than that. Anyone want to try? Yes. Who is that? Uh, Aisha. Aisha. Yes. Yes, Aisha. A series circle share the share the electricity from the dry cell, while the parallel circle didn't share the electricity from the dry cell. It is wow. equal for each path. Wow, that's okay. good. Good answer. Well done. Actually, yeah. yes, what you said, mm -hmm. are, when you're in a parallel circle, mm -hmm. it's not uh, sharing the electricity. Okay, it's because they have their part. own part, yes, right? Yes, own part. Yeah. This one is sharing. Okay. It's sharing because it's in one part. Yeah. Okay, that's a good answer from Aisha. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is why we fix our homes with the Parallel circuit. Parallel circuit because yeah. each of them get their, the, the same amount yeah, of Yeah, exactly. Electric. That's why when you're on the light in the room, yeah. even in a hall, also same brightness there. Okay? Ah. Ah, it doesn't mean, if you fix in a parallel, in a series circuit, mm -hmm. that's a different. Okay? Ah, okay. What will happen when mm -hmm. you're on the light in the room? Maybe mm -hmm. I think whole house will be on, right? So yes, correct. Will be, because they share the same they share path. This, yeah. Exactly. Ah, okay. So it's if I were to use an analogy, right? Yes. If let's say the series circuit is uh, maybe if we have three friends, they're all sharing from the same plate. Yep. But for here, they are, they have their own individual plates exactly. in a way. Exactly. And yeah. one more thing, yeah. we can uh, usually students mm -hmm. confuse with the, what's the difference. You can hold ah, this. Yes, between well, parallel. parallel and series. But yeah. here, I would just want to give some clue here. Okay. How many L in a parallel? There are three L's. Three L. Yeah. That L, mm -hmm. you can see like a one line. Yeah. That's correct. A, the line, remember, is yeah. a symbol of the wire. Oh. Okay. So okay. if let's say the students have problem to remember which is parallel, which is series, uh -huh. they just find three lines there. Okay. Okay. That means it's a parallel. There are so many uh, pairs. You understand or not? Wow. <laughs> wow! Okay, 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 okay. You yeah. understand? Okay, yeah. the insert is no L at all. Yes. That means this is a one part. Oh, so I just understand. in case they've confused with the sparrow and see this, yeah. which one is sparrow? Okay, so they can see you got three L three. there. Okay, that's a parallel. It's got three lines, maybe more than one part. Oh, that's a parallel. Wow, okay, there is something else I've learned it's today. It's a clue, just a clue for <laughs> yes, the students. Yes, correct. A very, very interesting clue as well. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, looks like we have come to the end of our exploration, but before we end, maybe we can check with our or we can ask our friends who are online right now what they have learned yes. uh, from our exploration today. Who would like to give uh, some of their thoughts? Yeah, come on. What do you have learned today? Yes. Shall we ask, uh, maybe we can ask Chua? Chua? Hi Chua, what have you learned from our exploration today? I have learned about the electrical and the electrical sources, which is, is fun learning those things. Alright, thank you so much Chua. And then? Uh, maybe we can also ask uh, Andriana. What have you learned from our exploration? Uh, what's the difference of the parallel circuit and series circuit? Yeah, yes, I think that's, that's good. That's, that's yeah, they have learned that's point. the main thing they have yep. learned. Mm -hmm. And also they learn about something that who want to try in a parallel and series. What do you have learned? Anyone? Onisha, you want to try? Maybe I can uh, ask Adam. Adam or anyone? Hi Adam. Adam? Ah yes, Ronisha. Okay, we can ask. Yes, Ronisha. Teacher, today we have learned about sources of electricity and parallel and series circuit. Other than that, oh, we still have something learned else? waiting for one, the one. brightness. Ah, Remember, yes. you have learned about the brightness of the bar okay. in series and parallel circuit. Maybe okay. someone can give an, uh, an example or what are uh, your conclusion? From yes. the observation that uh, we saw during our experiment. Conclusion, one more. Maybe we can ask Lakshan. Lakshan? Are you okay, Lakshan, to give us uh, some thoughts on what you have learned or what you have saw from the brightness of the light bulb comparing between parallel and, series. and also series circuit? Yes. The light in parallel circuit 
is much brighter than the parallel compared in series circuit. Compared yes, to the CD circle. Very true. good. Well thank done. You. Give well yourselves done. a round of applause. Yes. Okay. And of course, teacher, thank you again for the uh, information that you've shared with us regarding electricity, regarding the sources, and also the type of circuits parallel as well as series circuit. Yes. Uh, once again, thank you to teacher Davy as well as our friends who are online Aisha, we got Adam, Harit, Andriana. Chua, Ronisha, and also Lakshan. Thank, Thank you, you everyone for watching. This has been an amazing exploration. Don't forget to tune in to the TV KPM throughout the whole day because we have lots of activities, lots of programs, and we'll see you in our next episode on the TV KPM. Till then, stay safe. Bye bye. Bye. bye.